Hey guys, welcome once again to the Zero Dark Show. Tony Channel, you are in the right place at the right time today. What are we going to talk about? I got something pretty good for you here. All right. Vladimir Putin has quite the security team. We're going to look into several assassination attempts on his life, how his security team deals with it, and does he have clones and doubles and stuff like that so i'm gonna show you to get down with putin security team let's go Thanks once again, guys, for joining me here. It really means a lot to me that you're here today. I am so glad that we could discuss all these things amongst ourselves. You and I sitting here together as a, uh, a collective of discussion, of ideas, of ways to look at things differently. And that's what it's all about right here on the Zero Dark Tony channel. And I am Tony D, your host, so make sure you're sharing this out, guys. That's the best way to help this channel is to like and share it out. So whether you're catching it live or on the playback, I'm just jumping on with this one because I couldn't resist. Um, Vladimir Putin, the president, the president of Russia, has quite a thing going with his security. And we're going to get into this right now. Now, this is from a channel. I put the link down in the description. So you can see where the original video came from. And, you know, the world has been watching Vladimir Putin. The world has been watching what's been going on in the Ukraine, what is happening with Russia. And uh, personally, I just, you know, I think war is terrible. And I support the innocent people who unfortunately are seemingly suffering needlessly for... Um, Something that someone could do or say to not or not do or say to get something done. So what do you say? <laughs> right. Uh, basically, what's going on in the world is absolutely crazy. But to put it into context, people want to know what happens when perhaps Vladimir Putin pulls up. Right. And I'm going to show that to you right now. So we're going to get into what his security team does. Some of the. Um, some of the doubles and clones and things oh my so let's get into it it's believed that vladimir putin has survived multiple attempts on his life the russian president is untouchable from a dedicated security force to one of the world's most secure vehicles now that right there is like the russian bentley that car is made in russia and the regular version is like two hundred thousand dollars right so so uh, Vlad rides in style out there, all right? And um, we're going to look at some more of this. Here's how he does it. Putin's bodyguards. Putin is pretty skilled in his own protection. He's a KGB veteran, practices judo, and knows how to use a sniper. There are even rumors that Putin uses body doubles for security, though he claims that he declined these body doubles when no. they were offered. Is that the is that the okay no that's him okay but in the Putin interviews I would love to find some pictures of these body doubles but uh, I haven't been able to did yet. not deny that if anybody does find them let me know LMK there have been at least five attempts against his life they're rumored to have involved explosives and snipers as for how he survived the president points towards his personal security force simply saying I trust them Russia's Federal Protection Service or FSO is responsible for protecting top officials including the life of the president. It's a powerful and secretive agency, but there have been leaked reports about how they function. They can carry out operational and investigative activities, conduct wiretapping, detain citizens, search homes. And they basically are a special team that is dedicated to very much like the Secret Service. OK, the Secret Service doesn't just handle the protection of the president and executives. The Secret Service also handles uh, counterfeiting. Uh, they handle uh what else? Counterfeiting, the protection of the president, all the ex-presidents. I think they do something else, but, but that's not why we're here for the America of Jesus. 
reportedly control billions of dollars. As for their protection of Putin, they follow him everywhere, many dressed in black suits and wearing earpieces, while others blend in dressed in civilian clothes. You might remember this viral video of Putin going to the bathroom accompanied by six bodyguards while attending the Ukraine summit in Paris. Now, I've been around the, I've been around the bubble a couple times. If six dudes are at a party with a bar and they're all going to the bathroom, You know, I know Putin's a healthy guy, but wasn't he in Geneva? I mean, is that how they operate? Months before Putin has an appearance, the FSO surveys the location for any suspicious activity, mapping exits and even planning for the possibility of natural disasters. Uh, that is essentially what would be called an advanced team. So with the uh, with the American Secret Service, they have an advanced team and they go out ahead of time and they scope out the route that uh, the president would be taking. Uh, it's no different here. They want to make sure that the guy is safe and protected, and it's very organized, very much like the American Secret Service. During the appearance, the security IT team installs jammers to block any radio detonation signals. While protecting Putin, the guards are said to be loosely organized in four circles. The closest circle to the president are his personal bodyguards. The second circle blends in with the crowd, watching for potential attackers, and the third circle surrounds the crowd's perimeter. The fourth circle is situated on roofs, prepared to strike from a distance. And I, that's the sniper detail. That's the old, that's the old sharpshooters. The old rillers in the mist up there. So multi-layered security, very, very expensive. Just now I was watching, um, I was watching you guys. Uh, you've seen on my other channels and stuff i talk about brian on high impact flicks and and go go give this a watch but he he was talking about some of this uh stuff regarding uh putin and and a lot of the things that we see in the media but the cost of protection for mike pompeo being something in the neighborhood of sixty six thousand dollars a day now mike pompeo doesn't have anything like this so i'd figure you would multiply that by 10 Put, your, put it in the comment below. The FSO carry guns, wear bulletproof vests, and are even rumored to use suitcases and reinforced umbrellas as shields. I want to know where you get one of those umbrellas. Other skills I they want possess are an understanding of foreign languages and proficiency in politics. With these skills, they accompany the president anywhere, even on vacations to Siberian forests and to his secret homes, like the rumored $1.4 billion Putin Palace. Armored vehicles. While traveling, Putin and his forces what? use a... Whoa, 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 <laughs> I've seen this place before. But what was the price tag they put on this motherfucker? What? Look at this place. Maron. Maron. Look at this uh, sweet tonato. This is unbelievable. Look at this to his secret homes, like the rumored $1.4 billion Putin palace. The $1.4 billion Putin armored palace. Armored vehicles. While traveling, Putin and his forces use a fleet of armored vehicles. One of them is the president's car, a bullet and bomb-proof Aura Senat. Aura Senat. It was introduced the in 2018. The standard vehicle is priced at around $274,000. Wow. <laughs> that thing has got to be a tank. But Putin's version is definitely worth more. I think the our president drives a... Uh... Uh, has a Cadillac. I think the Cadillac with Rolls Royce engines in them, something like that. Armored Senat is 21.7 feet long and weighs over 14,000 pounds. Wow. It comes tricked out with plenty of special protective features. While they're kept mostly secret, it's rumored to have run flat bulletproof tires, an advanced communication system, an emergency exit from the back, and an air compression system to resist gas attacks. It's pretty much the safest place Putin can be while still traveling in style. Like this video and. All right, so there you go. That was uh, you're gonna see the link down in the description. So now what you got is, uh, the Secret Service for Vladimir Putin. You know, this guy has been. He was in the KGB for 16 years. Uh, he was he was a lieutenant colonel. Saint Pe Petersburg is his hometown. You know, there are a lot of very interesting things about Putin. I also feel like there are a lot of things that we'll discuss at another time uh regard and on another channel 
regarding uh, some of the other things that I found out. And you'll see that on some of my other channels. If you're watching on Rockford right now, if you're going to see this in playback or if you are catching it live right now, thanks for jumping on with me. I just jumped on here to play this short video. Make sure you like and share this, guys, if you're in here now or on the playback. I appreciate it. And you can catch all the links in the bio if you want to support the channel any further or follow me on my socials. And I will see you on the next Shadow Band, 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 and Band, Shadow Band, Band thing. See you at the next one, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. It means a lot.